Good morning. So, uh, I took a break from beefs and, well, chickens for about a year. And uh, I ordered Buff Orpingtons from Meyer Hatchery in Polk, Ohio. Ordered them oh, earlier in the week, uh, or last week. They were due to hatch yesterday. They shipped yesterday. They're here. I called the post office yesterday just to see about what time they thought the truck might be in. He said, oh, usually around 7. And uh, 6.40 this morning, I got the call. They're here. I got to go get them. They need warmed up. I'll be back. Well, they're making a little noise. You got quiet now. They were peeping. So that's a good sign. I got the heat on. See you at home. All right, here we are. Brooder's ready. Been heated up for 48 hours, actually, just till I get the temps all regulated. And uh, we're ready to open these babies up. Hopefully, they're all alive. I'll be back here in a minute. Okay, they all looking pretty good. So we give everybody a little drink. There's five. Six. Seven. Nine. You kind of got the hang of it already. It's ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, they sent an extra. So I ordered fifteen. No, actually, I ordered fourteen pullets in one rooster. They sent sixteen. We got no casualties. I've dealt with Myers Hatchery for years, and they rock. So I'll be back here in a second. I got to get this closed up and get these guys warmed up. Okay, so I filled the feeder, and then what you do, and there's a, a little guy just starting, you sprinkle a little, uh, some of the, the crumbles on a piece of newspaper or a piece of cardboard. In this case, I got a piece of plywood there I put under the feeder. That keeps them from throwing the, uh, the pine bedding up into the feed. Anyway, so you lay the feed out on something flat, and... They just naturally want to peck at something, and they're kind of curious, and they say, hmm, no, that's not too bad, and then, and these two will start here doing this, and the other ones will say, what you got there, and they'll all start doing it. So, I'll show you here in a minute when more of them get over there and check it out. Okay, so I sprinkled a little more feed over here on that other little board under the water. I thought they could see it a little better, and it seems like they have. Uh, and there's three or four of them pecking at it there now, and they'll start saying, mm, that's, that's pretty good stuff. We need to find some more of that, and they'll find that feeder eventually. Yeah, and there's quite a few of them starting to peck and eat. And everybody looks pretty healthy, I think. A couple, you know, they look real lethargic. But it's like they're just 
sleepy, and then all of a sudden they'll open her eyes back up and take off running. So I think they're all pretty lively. They're starting to eat. They all got a good drink of water. That's a good thing. I think we're looking pretty good. See you in a minute. Couple of other things I thought I'd mention. Um, you don't have to do this. I have this cabinet that is thermostatically controlled, so it goes up to about 96, 97 degrees, and then it shuts the heat lamp off, and then it kicks back on when it gets down to about 93. So it keeps it a pretty average 95 in there, uh, which is where you want to start them out. Uh, but you know. Uh, you don't have to be that fancy at all. You can have your heat lamp on all the time and have it just clear to one end. If they're cold, they'll get under the lamp. And if they're hot, they'll get out from underneath the lamp. And you don't have to have it uh, any set temperature. Um, like I said, if they're cold, they'll get under the lamp. And if they're hot, they'll get out from underneath the lamp. And it's not that big a deal. I just have this. This is basically an incubator that I haven't used for a while, but I'll be using again one of these days. There you saw the light kick on, because um, the temp got down. The other thing I wanted to mention, uh, in their water, I fill that with water and then I put one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. Uh, I've just heard that's a good idea and I don't know if it does anything or not, but if it doesn't, okay, and if it does, that's a wonderful thing. There you see more of them starting to pick and eat a little bit. So everybody's doing good. Think they're getting the hang of it. Now they even have the feeder figured out. Everybody's hungry. If you see this, don't panic. It's the end of their first day. And they're just babies. Night, little ones. See you in the morning. <laughs>